Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett, and my hands is Homicide, the Graphic Novel, Part 1. Uh, it is by Philip Squarzoni, and color by Drac and Mad, based off of the book by David Simon. Uh, so for those who don't know, David Simon was a crime reporter for the Baltimore Sun. Uh, he would go on to write the book Homicide and be maybe best known for creating the show The Wire. Homicide the book went on to inspire Homicide the television show, and uh, I, I watched the show. Honestly, I had no idea it was based off of a book, uh, and I love Simon's work. Um, it's far more than just The Wire and Homicide. There's a long list of shows uh, that he has named uh, on, and he is, he is a talented storyteller. Uh, so I, I will admit I am a fan of, uh, well, was a fan of those type of crime shows, uh, Law and Order, Homicide, you know, all that. Like, I would regularly watch. I have it in a long, long time, kind of grew out of it a little bit. Um, but I was intrigued by this. Like, I really wanted to see what a graphic novel adaptation of David Simon's work would be like. And it is brutal. Like, holy crap. Uh, what's interesting is this takes place in, I think, the, or, yeah, night, uh, so the book was originally published in 1991. Um, and I believe this takes place in the 80s? I think it gives a date, but I don't remember. Yeah, so 1988. Uh, so it was a very, very different time. And this is very much of the 80s. It's sexist, it's homophobic, it's racist. Um, the, the cops are, not necessarily Simon. I mean, Simon is depicting the truth or his reality of the police uh, as he has learned from his time being uh, a crime reporter. Uh, so his story is kind of just ref reflecting the truth of Baltimore police. Uh, and for those who grew up in the 80s and, and 90s, like, Baltimore was just synonymous with crime. It was a place that you just heard was brutal and deadly and horrible and stay away. And uh, the story is interesting. I mean, it kind of goes through the life of a detective, the very difficult um, situations and the experiences, the... Um, challenges they face, the hierarchy of the police department, uh, and just generally there's a, there, I think what's brilliant about this, at least the graphic novel, you know, obviously I haven't read the book, uh, but the graphic novel, like, just has this morose, sad, and not quite defeatist attitude about it all. Like, there's just this, like, trudging, depressed aspect of, uh, it constantly reminds you of the cases open, the amount of bodies, the amount of murders. Uh, and the difficult um, path that these police officers have before them. Uh, and it focuses on a few police officers and a few murders, and I think my only issue with this is all is there's a lot to jumble. And personally, I actually think that is part of the point. Like the officers themselves, we the readers are kind of challenged to keep everything straight, keep everyone focused, and have to kind of put together a narrative much like the officers do. So uh, whether or not that's on purpose, I have no idea, but uh, like that's the vibe I get is we, are, we as the readers are kind of put in a position uh, like the officers. So to me, that is very, very intriguing. Um, the art of it is, is fantastic. I mean, this just fits so well of a crime story. Um, uh, generally black, white, and gray. There's maybe a little color here and there, not much. Uh, you know, a little bit of splattering of red is usually the case. Uh, and it's just, I mean, you get a sense of this. Like, it's just dark foreboding. Um, you know, depressing isn't the right word, but it's just one of those, like, you're not coming out of this a happy person. Um, this is, it's a tough read. Uh, it is... There's a lot of death, there's a lot of murder, there's people of all ages, and there's, you know, it, it, as I said, like, it comes out of the, the time, like, the story of the 80s, but written in the 90s, so, you know, a lot of the stuff that is discussed and said within is not, would not fly today. Um, you know, times have changed, and what's interesting is part of the book talks about how times have changed for the police officers then. Uh, so, yeah, uh, it's, it's really good. It's as good as I thought it would be. Um, I sat and I took my time, and this is a thick, long read. I mean, I can crank out a graphic novel in, you know, half an hour to an hour at most. I mean, this was hours to read. Uh, and the thing is, is like, there's not much dialogue. This is all pretty much like voiceover narrative of a police officer, of a detective, kind of 
talking about his life. It's really, really good. Um, if you are a fan of crime novels, if you're a fran fan of David Simon, if you like The Wire or Homicide and, and want to check this out, like you should. You should absolutely get this. Um, I can't wait for book two, and it sounds weird, but you know, I really want to see how this wraps up. Um, hell of a graphic novel, exactly what I expect it to be. Um, yeah, just solid, solid, solid work. Um, you can go get it. I'll take the cover off. Sometimes people want to see without the cover. Uh, you can go get it. It is out now in shops and everywhere. Uh, we got a link beneath this video. Open your zip code. Tell the comic shops near you. No shop, no problem. We do have some links where you can purchase your own. There'll be uh, affiliate links, so we do get a small percentage by doing that. You'll support our site, so thank you for that. And I want to thank uh, for a second for hooking us up with this review copy. And of course, thank you all for watching. If you're into comics, you're into graphic novels, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, TikTok, Mastodon, Threads, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.